dopamine, adrenergic agonist agent, enotrop, used for the treatment of severe hypotension or shock, such as septic shock and other vasodilatory shock states, and cardiogenic shock, decompensated heart failure, and post-cardiac arrest that persists during and after adequate fluid volume replacement. Off-label use for the management of patients with bradycardia and cardiac conduction delay, dopamine may be used for symptomatic bradycardia, such as altered mental status, hypotension, and shock, which are unresponsive to atropine or pacing. We should also note that hemodynamic effects of dopamine are dose-dependent. For the low-dose dopamine, which augments renal dopamine receptors, which may increase renal blood flow and urine output. The use of low-dose dopamine to prevent or treat acute kidney injury is not recommended. For the intermediate dose of dopamine, dopamine and beta-adrenergic effects predominate, resulting in increased renal blood flow and heart rate, cardiac contractility, and cardiac output. For the high-dose dopamine, alpha-adrenergic effects begin to predominate, resulting in vasoconstriction and increased blood pressure in addition to increased heart rate, cardiac contractility, and the cardiac output due to beta-adrenergic effects. Mechanism of action, dopamine stimulates both adrenergic and dopaminergic receptors. Lower doses are mainly dopaminergic stimulating and produce renal and mesenteric vasodilatation. Higher doses also are both dopaminergic and beta-adrenergic stimulating and produce cardiac stimulation and renal vasodilatation. Large doses stimulate alpha-adrenergic receptors. Onset of action in adults within 5 minutes. Duration in adults less than 10 minutes. Metabolism, renal, hepatic, and 75% to inactive metabolites by monoamine oxidase and 25% and 25% to norepinephrine. Half-life elimination, 2 minutes. Excretion through urine. FDA approval date is February 25th, 1974.